Okay, welcome again. Now I build a little GP GPS device that is wireless with the uh, RF modules that I uh, bought on eBay. And uh, this is actually a GPS receiver that is supposed to be connected to the USB port on your computer. But I have uh, looked up the RS232 chip that converts uh, the RS232 to USB and just hardwired a cable from that uh, ship to the RF module. It is powered by a digital camera battery because well it takes four of uh, the 1.5 batteries to uh, well, supply it and I <laughs> had to use uh, two of the batteries to this camera so it's a digital camera, ba camera battery over there. So this is now trans uh, transmitting data to the receiver over here which is supplied the, the voltage is supplied by the USB port and uh, the data is going to a uh, RS232 USB converter over here so it's a uh, little max uh, RS232 chip on in uh, on this board and the uh, receiver so here is a serial com communicator so when I push the button connect here it should receive a lot of data from the G GPS and it does so what you see here is uh, data that is coming from the GPS receiver over there that is uh, wireless <coughs> transmit to the receiver here that shows on the computer and what you can do is actually that you can uh, take you look at the we'll have to find the correct there are several uh, different kind of sentence over here. Well, let's see. We have to find the win the co coordinates. Here we are. We take uh, from GPLB and just take this one, copying it, Google Earth, put it in there. Just make sure that the Google Earth understand it. Just to take away all unnecessary parts. Well, actually, I, I'm not adding anything or so. I just changed it to the numbers that Google Earth understand. Now I push Seek. Voila! Google Earth is zoom in to where we are. This is my street. So we have successfully been receiving GPS signals with this receiver and uh, with the RF module where we uh, with wireless technology transmit from this one to the small receiver over there to here and to my uh, RS232 to USB converter to computer to the serial communi communicator over here we took a bit of the w one of the strings over here and uh, put it into Google Earth <coughs> and we saw where we and, and we can see where we are pretty cool now we just have to do something useful with it and uh, to all you others out there on YouTube that have been commenting about uh, my RF uh, modules that I put on YouTube uh, 
well, a week ago. I just want to say thank you. And I have now tried to... I have tried to isolate the RF module with the <laughs> this one. I put it inside like this. Well, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, there. And also I have been using this one to isolate the RF module from uh, interference. But uh, so far it has been unsuccessful. And I have been using, well you can see this kind of antenna and uh, well, many different kind of antennas were, were well, larger than this one but that kind of antenna and antenna that goes around in circles and everything I tried it with uh, even in uh, well with the little cage here what you had what you call it so it should have been working but it doesn't I don't know why I have been supplying the transmitters and receivers with 12 voltage so it should have been working <coughs> fully but it hasn't I don't know what to do next but well if you have any other suggestion suggestions I will uh, I will try them